areas that we identified are those where farmers over there are largely dependent on the cereal crop. So these people are largely getting the carbohydrate source, but because of the low productivity, they were not having enough food throughout the year. For them, eight months or nine months of the year, they have some food, but the food is more of carbohydrate source. The protein source was very limited. We brought in new varieties tested with these farmers who were growing only cereals once per season. But once we brought in the chickpea particularly, we introduced double cropping. We grow the cereals, remove the cereal and grow the chickpea, which makes two crops per season. So that is a double advantage for the farmer in terms of income. The second is by introducing these pulses, legumes, to the system, we are fertilizing the soil. By growing pulse crops in a rotation, they can improve the fertility of the soil, which means they can reduce the cost of production. In addition to that, they can get nutritious food. found that mothers were very, very reluctant to feed their children beans, for example, for very many reasons. And so aside from making porridge with it, we're looking at flatbreads for children. We're looking at different approaches to encourage that diversity in the diet. I went to the different fields and it's amazing to see the height and the quality of the plant. It's impressive. So I asked the farmer, um, how many persons have come to see it? He said, I can't count. He said, passerbys are just coming in and they're asking him questions about it. And now the farmers in that area want to have the same thing happen for them. Yeah.